Hi, today we're going to discuss 10 important reasons why you should not rush to switch to Windows 11 just yet. This is a continuation of the previous video on 10 reasons to switch to Windows 11. Watch it to understand the situation better. Now let's talk about the advantages of Windows 10 and the situations where it's a more preferable option. Compatibility with older software applications and classic video games is a significant concern. If you frequently use legacy programs or enjoy playing vintage games, Windows 11 may unexpectedly surprise you with compatibility errors or even a complete failure to launch. The thing is, programs were written using the libraries and drivers that were available back then. Of course, Windows 11 has compatibility modes for such cases and you can manually install your libraries, but it doesn't always work. Windows 10 is like a reliable old friend that is compatible with all your programs. Second, support for old hardware. Windows 11 has strict requirements, TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, a recent processor. On an outdated laptop, it simply won't install properly, and if it does manage to install, it will perform much worse than Windows 10. Windows 10 operates efficiently even on older hardware, so if you possess a legacy Core 2 Duo or AMD Phenom processor, Windows 10 is indeed the superior choice. It's incredibly versatile, offering support for both older and newer hardware configurations. 3. Reduced resource needs. Windows 10 operates very well with 4-6GB of RAM and standard hard drives, while Windows 11 truly excels and performs best when used with SSDs and 8GB of RAM or more. If your computer is from the first option category, it simply won't be adequate for Windows 11 to fully utilize its capabilities. What if your computer happens to be compatible with both operating systems available? Which one to choose? Recently, I conducted an extensive performance test comparing Windows 10 and Windows 11 on this budget-friendly mini PC. It has a fresh Intel N100 processor, 12GB of RAM and an NVMe SSD, all optimized for Windows 11. In its stock state, Windows 11 indeed delivered higher performance here. But after optimization and removing several built-in programs and services, the situation changed. As you can see now, Windows 10 has become more efficient and uses fewer resources. So, if you know how to optimize the system, Windows 10 is more amenable to acceleration. I did this by the way using a program I wrote myself and offer to anyone interested. So far without issues. You can learn more about it on the website. It includes junk cleaning, complete removal of unremovable program traces, many free features, and the paid version has even more convenient algorithms. The fourth reason is the familiar interface. The taskbar is at the bottom left, the classic start menu, and the old icons are convenient and familiar for many. In Windows 11, everything has been rearranged, some things removed, and you'll have to get used to it. Consequently, individuals who strongly dislike changes and are hesitant to explore new options prefer to stick with 10. No unnecessary services are included by default. In Windows 11, you'll almost immediately be offered Teams, Edge, OneDrive and a bunch of offers from the Microsoft Store along with widgets. After installation, the PC ends up with over 100 programs, many of which have their own services and processes that burden the computer. It's simpler with 10. Although the latest versions also have many built-in programs, there are fewer of them and it's easier to get rid of them. Windows 10 has proven stability and reliability, receiving hundreds of updates since 2015. Even the latest version 22H2 is still receiving updates, meaning everything that could be fixed has been. Windows 11 continues to evolve, which means that new bugs can emerge following updates, occasionally disrupting workflow and productivity. You can roll back updates or even disable them entirely, but doing so requires significantly more involvement and a greater level of experience. It's simpler with 10 in this regard. Both Windows 10 and Windows 11 versions, when activated with a valid license key, tend to operate significantly more stably and reliably. Everything functions as expected. The seventh reason to stick with Windows 10 is less reliance on the cloud. Windows 11 increasingly requires signing in with an account and storing data on OneDrive. As I mentioned in the Windows 11 news release, the 2025-25H2 version will remove the ability to install using a local account, which was available before. You can't create a local account during Windows installation anymore using the command line, but there might be alternative solutions. Microsoft is doing everything to promote its services. By the way, subscribe to the channel to learn various tips about PCs and Windows. In Windows 10, you can easily manage with a local account and work completely offline. This brings us to the next important reason, telemetry and tracking technology. Windows 11 has many more services that monitor your actions. We call them spy services. It's easier to disable them in Windows 10, not so in Windows 11. They are tied to Windows functionality, and without them, not everything will work. With them, your data is sent to servers, and you need to work to manage this tracking. Many people overlook it, 
But if you don't like how data about your work is collected and want to change it with simple actions, you can do so easily in your PC settings. In the Pro version, I've gathered a number of settings that will almost completely block tracking and telemetry. Just to let you know, there's a separate video on this topic. These tasks can also be accomplished manually if preferred. 9. Drivers work predictably. In Windows 10, drivers for older devices are already refined, while in Windows 11, they may not exist at all or may work unstably. But this is only for older devices. If the device is new, the situation can be quite the opposite. 10. Don't waste time on reinstallation and setup. Upgrading to Windows 11 always involves data transfer, searching for settings, installing drivers, and there's no 100% guarantee that the upgrade will go smoothly and automatically. On Windows 10, everything is functioning smoothly, so you have every right and a solid 10 reasons to continue using the reliable Windows 10 system. Windows 11 is a good topic, but not for everyone and not right now. If everything is working stably and quickly for you, it might be better to wait and switch when it's truly necessary. What do you think about this? Write in the comments. Let's continue the discussion there.